<laughs> well, let's move on to some topics. Um, so first off, I was uh, hoping to talk about uh, PyProject.toml. I think we've, I'm sure we've covered it before. Um, but the uh, Brett Cannon is um, one of, is he still part of the core or did he get voted out? I think he's, he's still on, part of the I core. I think he's on the steering council. Yeah. Honchos, it, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, he wrote an article, just uh, released it re- recently called What the Heck is PyProject.toml? And um, wh- I mean, one of the, the reasons why he wrote it, and I think this is an interesting side effect, is uh, so um, if you're not, if you're just, if you're just joining us, um, the PyProject.toml came out of the efforts with PEP 517 and 518 to define uh, what the file looks like. And it kind of defines how, what tools are needed to build a project and and how to build it. And um, that used to be mostly just setup tools, but now there's lots of other tools like Flit and uh, Poetry. And you can make your own if you want to. Um, but anyway, th- these are... Uh, the, this this file, one of the side effects is um, uh, people started adding um, uh, other their tool configuration to this file, um, such as like coverage and talks. Now you can you can put the those uh, configurations into uh, PyProject.toml for those tools, even even though it has nothing to do with building, um, and uh, it just saves you from having an extra file, even though those tools have their own configuration files. And then Black came around, and Black uses um, only has a few configurations available. So instead of creating their own configuration file, Black uses the PyProject.toml for looking up configuration if you want to configure like line length or something. And so there's uh, there's been projects that have added uh, PyProject.toml files for the reason because they were trying to, they're using Black also, and um, and now their their builds don't work. And uh, the reason is, if there's a PyProject.toml, even if you're using setup tools, pip will um, pip will look for the build stuff uh, uh, around that within the file. So uh, Brett is uh, has gone and added, showed the uh, the few lines of code you need to add to the toml file to specify how to build with setup tools. And that's the that's the main contribution for this, but it's also, I think that people ought to ought to go read the article because it's a good uh, good summary of where we're at right now. Thank you for watching this segment of the Python Bytes podcast. This video was made during the recording of the full episode. Visit pythonbytes.fm and get the whole story. Subscribe to the podcast and get the entire episode delivered to your phone. Please support our work by taking one of the courses at pythonbytes.fm/courses or learning PyTest with Brian's book at pythonbytes.fm slash PyTest. Finally, visit our sponsor shown on the screen here. Visit the link on the screen and get the special offer for Python Bytes and YouTube listeners. Thanks, and have a great rest of your day.